cheated on me, so I fucked his mom. What? <laughs> I fucked with you. I did it. You fucked his mom? I fucked his mom. Was the pussy fire? She was fine as fuck. Listen, I'm pansexual, so any. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? 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 What is that? What is pansexual? Is there something new? What the f is What is pan Let me have some ice in the mug ice cream. Froze over. What is pansexual? I heard a bar. Maybe I'm out of touch. I can get it! I can get it! <laughs> no, I'm f with you. I f with me too. Word, no, I f with you. Wow, I, I didn't expect you to say that. It's his mom. Gangster. That's better than the other video where the girl said that her and the dude's mom did it. So her and her boyfriend had sex with his mom. That's, I mean, this is crazy, but that's not, this is not as crazy. You know what I'm telling, yo, you know what's crazy about this fat dude? I found out that a guy that I grew up with, my name is Binky. Binky's on his podcast. He used to play basketball with Binky in his backyard. It's a small world. I've been seeing this fat dude everywhere on, on Instagram and on, um, on TikTok. And I be reacting to all his videos to the point where I'm like, yo, you know what? Let me go find out who he is. Find out he on a podcast with my man Binky. That's crazy. I want a man to be so obsessed with me that I walk in, he smell my drawers. That's a dream for me. That's the dream for me. And if you experience that, don't brag too much. I'm on my way there right now. <laughs> she just talking. She just talking. Because if you find a nigga that sniff your drawers for real, yeah, you ain't ready for that level of crazy. You ain't ready for that level of passion. <laughs> Craziest college confession. Meeves over here. <laughs> what Meeves did? Meeves over here. Um, she had sex with him. How'd that go? It was so good. Have him tell you more about it. <laughs> Definitely a magical moment. Oh. <laughs> Definitely a magical moment. Hey. Take my hat off to me's, but damn, why her friend snitched on her like that? Subconsciously, I feel as though she's trying to be funny. Like, I can't believe she had sex with Meeves and it didn't go as planned. Or it could be a situation where she thought old girl was trying to be funny about Meeves and she checked her before she said something out the way. Like, yeah, you had sex with that man. Don't don't come out your face. There's two sides to that coin that, that we can't read right now. But shout out to Mies, man. Shout out to my boy Mies. Who's your uh, celebrity crush? Miles Teller. Miles Teller. Uh, oh my god, he can bend me over. It's not a problem. Oh my god. We 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 Hey yo, saying that a man could bend you over in the presence of your boyfriend is crazy. That's disrespectful behavior. Jesus. I ain't no celebrity, <clears throat> but doing YouTube. When I did music and we used to go out and stuff like that, has shown me these dudes, these rappers and these actors and these singers and that your girl might have a crush on and you might think it's cute because in your mind, she ain't never going to meet that. No, no, no. These dudes are accessible. I've dated like three girls that had crushes on Usher. It was cool because in my mind, you ain't never going to meet Usher. Until I started meeting Usher. I met Usher at the mall, Perimeter, Lennox. I met Usher at a skating ring. I met Usher at a club. Like, I was in VIP section with Usher at a club. After that, a light bulb went off in my head like, nah. That ain't cool. Like, the other day, me and my wife got into it. Because she said she she had a crush on one of these rap. She liked the way he carried himself. 
She said, he ain't nothing to look at, but the way he carry himself, you know, it's, I said, what? Come again and say, what? I put her in her place. What do you mean? You like the way he, ca he carry himself. That's the most dangerous thing. She come around this present, she get moist. Because she like the way he carry himself. She, I ain't playing that. I'll play that. So, why are you out of uniform? Michael, I told you it's my birthday. You didn't get a about that. Still insisted on putting me on the schedule. So here I am. Get on my face before I leave. But if I came out of uniform, they would have sent me home. And that's exactly what they would do because why are you in my business? Be yourself. Stop trying to be me. Like, you just started here. Next. Okay, um, hey, so I came yesterday and you guys were not open. Yesterday was Sunday. Okay, and? Okay, so we're not open on Sundays. I don't have time for this. Next. Um, excuse me, can I please get a spicy deluxe? No lettuce and tomatoes and cheese, please. So That's what makes it a deluxe. No, I want a spicy deluxe, no lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese. All right, you know what? If you want to get a 12 cash instead of 6 cash for a spicy sandwich, be my fucking guest. Sarah, why would you put eight chicken sandwiches in that little ass bag? Excuse me, I've been waiting 10 minutes for my food, and this is ridiculous. Miss, it's people who've been here for an hour. Like, um, I don't care. This does not look like it's your pleasure. It's not. It's really not. I'm not going to hold you. You're actually getting me dumb tight. <laughs> the way you said it was fine. Now you up here losing your man, head. Man, man, please. What? The customer is always right. Hell you say no. Jump, you say ha ha. What? That's how we do here. You sound stupid as hell. Dead ass. stupid as hell. My own mother don't talk to me how you're talking me right now. <laughs> I do not need this job that bad. You understand me? Jump? How high? You crazy? Actually, I need you to come to the team meeting this Sunday. Absolutely not. No can do. I get right with the load on Sunday. I will not be showing up to work. So sorry. Hey, yo. I'm going to tell you something. I hate customer service. I used to work at Great American Cookie. Oh, my God. I used to get into it with the customers all the time. We used to have this old lady outside, Miss Wilma. Damn, I don't even know if Miss Wilma's still alive. But we used to have this old lady outside giving samples in front of the cookie spot, right? This lady picks up a sample, eats it. Then later on, she I guess she sees the sign, and it says the cookies have peanut oil in it, so she has a nut allergy. And she come over there like, can I get a cup of water? I'm like, yo, it's 25 cents. Now, mind you, if it was my establishment, you would have had a cup of water for free. But the guy that we work for, he's charging for a cup of water. So, it's 25 cents. It's not my policy, it's his. It says it on the vending machine, on the drink machine. 25 cents for a cup of water. She's like, oh my God. Like, first off, you guys didn't tell me that the cookies had peanut oil in it, and now you want to charge me for a cup of water? And she get to talk and eat. You know how... No offense to the white folks that subscribe to me, but you know how hard some, some of y'all do. She get to going on a rant. Who's the owner? Who is the owner? <laughs> I remember this. I was like, it's a big sign that says the cookies have peanut oil in it. It's not our fault that you didn't read the sign. Big sign. These cookies contain peanut oil. Be careful if you have a peanut allergy. Somewhere around the lines. You didn't read the sign. You went and got a sample. And now you mad. And then the crazy thing is, you're not even mad at the little old white lady that gave you the sample. You mad at the black boys behind the counter. How does that make sense? Anyway, bro, yeah. Good old perimeter mall. It had a, Great American Cookies had its good days and it had its bad days. Those, those were the bad days. Those were the bad days. Good days was like... When you met celebrities, like Usher. Like how I was talking about Usher in the previous um, video. You met Usher, Chris Tucker, um, Dr. J. Oh, yeah. I almost said something just now. All right, next video. Want some what? You want some, my boy? What you want to do? I just haven't seen you out here. I'm asking if y'all want some, my boy. What? You want some? Hey, bro, chips. You want some chips? Oh. No, don't want no fing tips, motherfucker. What the f? Hey, yo, ass, bro. Bro. Hey, yo, ass, bro. Hey, what type of question is that? Who the f wants some tips? Bro, I'm just asking no, if y'all want bro, some K chips. Ass, bro, bro K yo ass. Bro, you don't want some No, bro. You want some? No, I don't want, want it. Some? What do you have? Do you want some? What do you have? Bro, I do not find these pranks funny. Like, I know we all gotta go out here and try to entertain to get our little money up and all that, but, bro, these pranks are not funny. They are not funny. At all. Why are you f***ing with folks? You feel what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. 
this look, homie, that he was messing with looked bad, too, because now you pull your purse out and you acting like you got a gun in it. Like, somebody who, who really be carrying, let's say this shit was real. Somebody who really be carrying would have shot you. But these pranks are not funny. I'm sorry. Well, I have to walk this way. I gotta walk this way, my boy. Okay. Go that way. Go that way. It's locked over there. Go that way. Go that way. This shit ain't funny, son. Hey, you sure you don't want some? I, I just don't understand that. Like, I do not understand. Whatever. 